Boom shakalaka. Well, Bitcoin has officially hit the line in the sand. We have a bunch of charts suggesting that Bitcoin price is about to drop precipitously and other charts saying we are right on the verge of a most massive bull run. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at Bitcoin. Is it as bad as everyone thinks or will the sun come out tomorrow? Quoting Annie, I believe that is. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push the like button and let's get into it today. Extreme Fear 23, exactly where we were yesterday. The overall market's down 3%. Bitcoin at 18,950. Ethereum at 1331. BNB at 266. XRP 39 cents. Cardano 44 cents. Solana $31. And Dogecoin 5 cents. And if we take a look at Bitcoin, we have a classic head and shoulders pattern right here. Not a good pattern. That is a bearish pattern. Right now, predicting the price going all the way down to about 13 and a half thousand dollars particularly if we break below this green line here the 280 weekly moving average historically that's the lowest support bitcoin has ever had it's always been support in history and most of the time this yellow line has been bitcoin support so crazy stuff going on right now we have blackmore here saying bitcoin looking pretty rough first time ever the 21 ema has crossed the 200 ema weekly bearish crossover you can see right here with a bearish double top on the rsi right down here five days left to the week so yet to be seen how powerful these technical indicators are so far they've confirmed bearish p a so not looking good there for bitcoin also matthew highland pointing out both previous Bitcoin bear markets ended with multi-month horizontal support being broken, 2014, 2018, and 2022. If we see here, multi-month sideways being broken to the downside, about a 50% price cut. Same thing here, multi-month downside being broken by a 50% price cut. And note that November, end of October, November is roughly based on the time from the peak when this would happen this year year well could we be having the same thing multi-month sideways down move being broken roughly 50 percent price cut it could be really bad as a matter of fact if we take a look not only at bitcoin but traditional markets the s p 500 scary fractal from 2008 doesn't really believe it's going to play out however you know me i like to annihilate my bias from time to time this scenario would be brutal but in this economic context is wise to be prepared for anything you can see here we have the hammer being set and then eventually price just dropped out through the bottom, over 50% in the S&P. Could we be about to see the same thing in stocks? Certainly possible. Because right now, the risk appetite has officially hit its worst reading since the early 2000s. Since this time right here, the risk appetite has hit its worst readings. Now, shocking that about a year and a half ago, it was at its highest readings in a long, long time. So we went from like extreme greed all the way down to extreme fear. However, there are some charts that might argue differently because it's two sides of the coin. All depends on how you look at it. So right now, S&P 500 likely gearing up for a big move. Retail traders have loaded up on way too many puts. If we take a look at the retail only put call ratio, retail is betting the price is going to crash. You know who usually loses the most money in markets? Retail. We can see here every time that we were up around this green line area, guess what? That was right before a most massive bull run. Could it be different this time? Certainly. But looking at the data historically, where we are right now in terms of put call ratio, would suggest that the price would be going up. Also, if we take a look at this one right here, the MVRV moving average, we can see that when it wrote, when it rode this level right down here, well, that was the bottom back in 2015. And then when we did it again, it wasn't the bottom, but that was the bottom in 2019. That was pretty close after the bottom. And then if we see, we continue this line from here to here to here, that could suggest maybe the bottom and another thing towards the bottom. But this chart here is much more indicative of bull runs. A peak in this indicator has resulted in unforgettable runs for Bitcoin. This is the total supply in loss held by long-term holders. We can see when that hits an all-time high, that's the bottom, when long-term holders are just in loss. Now, historically, 
it's been roughly 60% plus. Willie Wu posted something a couple days ago that for that to happen, the price would need to hit $9,500, which again would follow this 50% price cut scenario. But I saved the best two charts for last for those of you who actually stay through the whole episodes. Mustache here saying, looking more closely, Bitcoin has been doing the same thing since 2011. It just takes longer and longer because more money has to flow into the market. So we have four being the last retest of breakout three, and RSI also makes similar moves. So we have an ascending RSI with a little dip towards the end. We have one, two, three breaking through for resistance. We saw it here in 2011, 2013, saw it here in 2014 and 2016, taking much longer this time, 2018 to 2022. Well, what happened after every one of these retests? Look at the massive bull run that happened. Which brings us to this chart right here. Very, very interesting chart because this has only ever happened once in the history of Bitcoin. But the last time it happened, Bitcoin price went from 11 cents to $70,000. That's a lot of X's. I don't even know how many that is, but that's a lot. Well, this is the second time in history that Bitcoin SPX, that the MA20 crosses the MA200. You can see it happening right here. It also happened right back here in 2015. Well, the cross happened in 2015 after the bottom was already in. Only a few months later, one of the biggest bull runs in Bitcoin's history started. Well, maybe it wasn't 11 cents because it scales off. So it's definitely not 11 cents. It was like $100 to $70,000 over the next few years. That's still a lot of X's. So guys, that is all for today's video. Either the price is going to crash for like 50% or more, or we're about to have the most explosive bull run that we've ever seen. And I can guarantee if one of those two things doesn't happen, the price is just going to continue going sideways. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. Everybody